So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P1133 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Toyota P1133 code? Well, it's an air fuel racial sensor circuit response malfunction bank one sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses sensors on the exhaust and how much oxygen has been burnt off during combustion. And it's seen an error with one of these. So I have to be troubleshooted to know why. And some of the possible causes could be a bad O2 sensor, it could be in the wiring, and it's possible there's some kind of engine malfunction since it's a leaky fuel injector that's clogging up the sensor or an exhaust leak. But usually if you get those, you'll get another code. So if you are getting other engine codes or anything like this, you might want to look to see if that's a problem. And so this problem is pointing to a bad oxygen sensor, and there's going to be two of them. There's going to be an upstream oxygen sensor, which is before the catalytic converter, called sensor 1, and there's going to be a downstream oxygen sensor after the catalytic converter called sensor 2. Two. And the one this is having a problem with is sensor one, which is the upstream oxygen sensor. So the first thing to do is to go and locate the sensor one upstream oxygen sensor. And these can be located differently depending on the Toyota of the year. They could be located sometime down underneath the vehicle on the exhaust. And then other times the upstream oxygen sensor will be located right on the exhaust manifold. And you'll just be able to get to it when you pop the hood. It just varies. So it'll just depend on the year and the make of the Toyota. But the first thing to do is go find the upstream oxygen sensor or sensor one. And once you find it, check out the wiring and be sure the wiring all looks good because anything bad with the wiring, open short, bad connection, anything like this can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So you want to check out the wiring and be sure that all looks good. And also keep in mind that the sensors are on a fuse quite often and sometimes a relay depending on the year and that's usually located inside the engine compartment although they can't be up and underneath the dash they're usually inside the engine compartment and they'll be labeled like this one like af heater that's a that's a relay for the oxygen sensors and if anything goes wrong with the fuse or a relay that's on the circuit then it could also cause issues so that's something to keep in mind this is like a mid 2000s toyota and it has a relay right here and it has a fuse right here so something to keep in mind that these are on a fuse and a relay and so if you check out the wiring and that all looks good and you check out fuses and that all looks good then very likely it is time to replace that oxygen sensor and they're not super high cost parts or anything i'll jump over on amazon and give you an idea how much you're running right now you get two for 48 it could it's going to vary depending on the year and the type of toyota again but it looks like they're ranging around 20 30 40 50 bucks you'll be able to pick one up and one thing to mention with these is that sometimes you need a special tool well, you, sometimes you can't get onto it with an open end wrench, so you might not need the special tool. If it is recessed in there in any type of way, then you might need the tool on some Toyotas. Not all, but some. So when you look at it, see if, if the bolt is recessed in to like the manifold or into the exhaust, because then you might need the tool. But if not, then you, you could use an open end wrench. And so what do you do if you have a Toyota with the P1133 code? Well, first thing to do, locate that upstream oxygen sensor, sensor one. Once you locate it, check out the wiring real good. Be sure the harness is plugged in, that there's no open shorts or anything like that. Keep in mind that it is on a fuse and a relay, which is likely inside the engine compartment. There'll be a fuse box off to the right somewhere, and very likely there's a fuse and possibly a relay that's on this circuit. So you might want to check those and be sure those are good. And if that all looks good, then go ahead and replace the oxygen sensor, and that usually will solve the problem. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Toyota with the P1133 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.